Well, we're really excited because we've been studying here for the last year a totally new species of dinosaur. And not just any old dinosaur, but it's a new tyrannosaur, and it's from Uzbekistan, halfway around the world. So a very exciting uh, new member of the dinosaur family tree. A big part of my job is going out and finding new dinosaurs, but in this case, I didn't do that. It was colleagues of mine who have done field work in Uzbekistan for many years. My good colleague Alexander Avaranov in St. Petersburg, Hans-Dieter Seuss in Washington at the Smithsonian. They led the team, they found these fossils, and they invited me to help them out to study them. The Uzbek Tyrannosaur, Timurlengia is its name, is one of the closest relatives of T-Rex. Everybody knows T-Rex. But really, T. rex was merely the last surviving member of this tyrannosaur group that lived for over 100 million years. And the very oldest tyrannosaurs that you can find in England, and maybe even in Scotland, were just dog-sized animals. And they stayed that way for a long time, but at some point they made the switch to become these huge, gigantic, fearsome apex predators. And our new Uzbek tyrannosaur, shows us a little bit how that happened. It tells us that 90 million years ago, a time when previously we knew nothing about tyrannosaurs, it tells us that tyrannosaurs were still fairly small, the new one's just about the size of a horse, but it tells us that at that small size, they were evolving a larger brain, keener senses of hearing and other senses, the things that would allow a few million years later tyrannosaurs to rise to the top of the food chain and become those apex predators that ruled the world. So for the past year, uh, we've had the fossils here in Edinburgh, and we've been studying them. And a big part of that is CT scanning them, is putting them in the scanner that Ian Butler here on the faculty custom built to look inside the fossil. Because the most important fossil that we have is what's called a brain case. It's those bones that surround the brain. So the bones, the brain's inside, sinuses are inside, the ear, nerves, blood vessels, all of these things that you can't see from the outside, you don't want to crack the fossil open, so you stick it in the CAT scanner just like a doctor would. And by visualizing that fossil here, it's allowed us to really understand what this dinosaur was like biologically, what kind of brain it had, what kind of senses it had. I had a great student, Amy Muir, doing, she was an undergrad at the beginning, and then she transitioned into a master's project, and she worked with me very closely and did these visualizations of the brain, of the senses, of the ear, of the nerves. So she spent several months uh, doing that work, hands-on research from uh, an undergrad, and it was instrumental to this project. So what we're looking at now is kind of two copies of the same thing. This is the original fossil the brain region of a tyrannosaur, the bone surrounding the brain. And so it might look like a deformed grapefruit-sized lump of rock, and in a way it kind of is. But to make sense of it, this is the back of the skull. So the snout would have been up here, the eyes and nose would have been way forward. But this is the back, and that's where the spinal cord would go in. That's where the neck would attach. That's where the, the neck vertebrae would attach. And so you have the brain in there, and if you turn it around, this is the brain cavity. So that's the brain area of this tyrannosaur. And this is the 3D uh, printed copy of it. So exactly the same size, the same shape, a lot lighter. This I have to be very careful with because this is a one-of-a-kind fossil. But this is something that we can play around with. If we drop it, it's okay. It's something we can bring into schools and show kids. It's something we can put on exhibit somewhere and not worry about it breaking. The CAT scans let us see inside of the fossil to study the brains and the ears and the vessels that we can't see from the outside, but also they allow us to print out these beautiful three-dimensional copies. 